Greetings. My name is Coach Chenisberry. I'm the uh, co-offensive coordinator and offensive line coach at Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm super, super excited about bringing my newest drill DVD to you. Uh, it's going to consist strictly of inside zone. Uh, I'm excited because, you know, we're going to put emphasis on what we do here at Southern University, how we block inside zone, and drills related to the scheme of inside zone. We're going to show you uh, different ways to block in versus three down and versus four down, but we'll start off versus four down. But first, you must understand how we teach inside zone here at Southern University. We first teach it, it's an area blocking scheme where the covered lineman blocks on and the uncovered lineman blocks its play side gap, often resulting in a double team. Movement is key. Movement is key. We want to make sure our backs and our offensive linemen shoulders are at a slight 45 degree angle and we're trying to get pushed at a 45 degree angle. Hope you enjoy the video. Deals, but our fits are what's very, very important to our block on inside zone. And the fit that we use on the front side of inside zone here at Southern University, we teach a near to near fit. All right, We want an objective on a near to near fit if the ball is inside. Say the ball is inside for whatever reason. We want to try to fit, and this is a right tackle here, this illustration here. We want to try to fit our near shoulder from the ball, near, near to near, up under the defender's near shoulder from the ball. Now, as we get that near to near fit, we want to make sure we finish that near to near fit when we get on our contact phase and our follow through with an aggressive fit and lift. It's just like a power clean. So, as we're taking our departure angle, big toe on pinky toe, all right, with our play side foot, all right, we want to take our second step on our contact phase and fit our near shoulder under the defender's near shoulder from the ball. Now, we want to get in lift mode. You can't lift anything you're not up under. So we want to go near to near fit and lift that defender, still result in trying to drive that defender at a 45 degree angle. That's how we run our near-to-near -near fit here at Southern University. Uh, I adopted this drill here uh, just to give the guys a good departure angles, man. You know, we just get a lot of reps of these. They can do these in pre-practice, uh, after practice. They can carry these pipes around with them, but it gives them a landmark to work their footwork. Near to near on the boards. You know, I think our fits are very, very important at our departure angle. So, you know, we work a variety of different drills on the boards, uh, you know, emphasizing the departure angle. Notice here, I'm using the edge of the board as the pinky toe of the defender. So we take big toe and pinky toe, great departure angle by these young men. We want great pad level. We want to give them a landmark to be able to get their departure angle correct. So you'll see these young men here, we like to stick it right there. Uh, big toe on the edge of the board, which, again, we're, we're using that as the pinky toe. And now, after we do that, we want the second part of this block um, where we bring our inside flipper so we can get our near-to-near -near fit. So we want to make sure when we bring that flipper, we treat it just like a power clean. You know, we want to unlock our hips and really get the explosion that we want. So, again, we want big toe to pinky toe. Second step on his inside foot, and we're bringing an inside flipper. All right, we want to make sure we get an inside flipper and always follow through the end of the boards. We want to make sure we finish every drill. All right, we don't want to waste any reps. It's either a good rep or a bad rep. We don't have time to waste reps, so we want to make sure we get good quality reps and the guys always finish through the boards. Now, Again, we we're just talking about near-to-near -near fit as well. We want our hat outside. We want to sell the illusion to the defender that we're trying to reach them. Any defender does not want to get reached. They want to maintain their gap. So we want our hat outside to give the illusion that we're trying to reach the defender. But in all actuality, we're not trying to reach the defender. We want inside body presence. We want an inside fit, hat outside, inside flipper. Then always we want to transition after we come out of the flipper. Our hands should already be inside. And we want to transition through the block, through the boards, and finish through. Short choppy steps, wide base. Weight should be distributed on your insteps of your feet. Not on your toes, not on your heels, but on your insteps because those are where your power angles are. at the end.
All right, you'll watch this game rep right here. Great departure angle by the left tackle. He's gonna he's got a wider defender, so he's gonna take his near uh, shoulder and fit it under his near shoulder from the defender. But he wants to make sure that he steps big toe and pinky toe with his left foot. Second step should be on the inside foot of that defender. Hat should be outside, and then we want to finish through this defender on a 45 degree angle. We want to dry this defender on the ankle. Good rep by the young man. All right, you watch this left tackle right here. All right, we have inside zone versus a wide five. So now his departure angle is going to be a little different. The defender is wide, so again, if he steps straight up field, he won't be able to block this defender. So he's going to take a slight bucket step just for angle purposes. All right, he's going to take a, a slight bucket step. He's still going to have hat outside, body inside, inside foot. is going to step on the inside foot of the defender, building a wall on the defender. Great rep.